There's an incredible turnover in technology and something that's current today may easily be obsolete in a few years' time, only for it to then make an unexpected comeback. Vinyl records are a case in point and Cape Town-based arts journalist Athia Khan is catering for disciples of the vinyl revival with a collective called Future Nostalgia. So are Cape Townians in a time warp? Let's get some answers from Athia. Until the early 1980s, vinyl records dominated the recorded music market. But then the compact disc or CD arrived, bringing affordable digital audio to the fan in the street. 30 years on and a new generation of music lovers are grooving to those old black discs once more. And some would say that Atiyah Khan is vinyl's high priestess in the mother city. Michelle knew exactly where he'd find her. Cape Town is world-renowned for Table Mountain, Robben Island and its magnificent beaches. But visitors are also increasingly interested in exploring its artistic and musical heritage. Now, Atiyah Khan eats, sleeps and drinks music and is the ideal person to discover the Mother City's offerings with. Hello. Hi, how's it How are you doing? Are you well? Yes, yes. Oh well, I God. see you are in your element. Right now, you are in the throes of a love affair. Where did your love for music develop from? It started as an early age, listening to the radio and taping music from the radio, as a lot of us did, you know, when we had cassettes. And then moving on to CDs and then moving into digital and now into vinyl, which is like going backwards in a sense, you know, but getting into a deeper music appreciation and knowledge also. There's a resurgence in the popularity of vinyl records. Why do you believe this is? I think nostalgia is part of it. The fact that the medium still lasts all these years later, like you get records from the 70s, which you can still play now. It also is a bit of a hipster trend, but that's not why a lot of people are collecting, you know, I mean, it looks cool and stuff. But for me personally, it's just a different medium. It, um, it looks cool. It's tangible, like the music is physical, it's physically on the record, it's physically pressed on the record, you know, it's, it's analog, it's old school, and it encourages more patient listening. So there's no like quickly skipping, you know, there's no like you actually have to wait for it to end before you skip or change and you learn more about music this way. What was the first vinyl record you purchased? I started collecting before I even had a record player. It was a few years ago and I just was going through secondhand shops. So it wasn't like this resurgence, it was just to get it. And it was The Sound of Music. The Sound of Music, that is pretty cool in my books. Not super cool, but super nostalgic for me because I grew up watching that film. So it was like five rand. And that was the first record I bought. And now I have like 10 crates probably of records. Is there anything in particular that catches your eyes? I've been looking this record by the Supremes, which is a bargain at 30 bucks. Take this. The music journey continues. Where to next? We're going to a store called The Eye, which is a coffee shop slash um, vinyl store not too far from here. For hardcore fans, music isn't so much of an art form as a lifestyle. And a venue like this offers a place to enjoy your favorite brew before shopping for books, memorabilia and discs. There's always the off chance of finding something new or tracking down a long sought after album that will be an essential addition to your collection. This time it seemed Atya was in luck. Pink lips, I love it. Should we get a coffee? Let's do it. Adia, why would I choose vinyl over buying digital? It's a tangible medium of music. You can physically touch it. You know, the music is pressed onto the record. And looking at the artwork, you can learn about information about who's on it and the liner notes. I know that vinyl is analog, but what does that mean? It's just a method of pressing records as opposed to what is happening now, which is digital. Online audio streaming has had a major effect on the music industry. But in 2014, global sales of vinyl outstripped digital for the first time. For decades, vinyl had fought a largely losing battle against its silver nemesis. But now the CD may be destined for the junk heap. Of course, there's a magic to owning and playing a record. And Adia had promised to initiate Michelle in the arcane rites of enjoying old school beats. Atiya, superb. Thank you, that was awesome. No problem, man. Atiya, you founded Future Nostalgia. How would you best describe it? Future Nostalgia is a collective of people that came together to put on a vinyl listening session. So the focus is on vinyl and it's about listening to records of your choice, you know, and it's not limited to DJs. It's anyone who has a collection that has to, music to share. 
You have a fantastic byline for future nostalgia. Tell me about that and what does it mean? For collectors, selectors, DJs and diggers. Well, it's basically a way to include everyone so that it's not like exclusive to people who are on the scene or necessarily known as DJs. Like if you're somebody who works at a store but you have a great collection, we'd love to have you as a guest. So we always feature guests. But yeah, finally, what would you tell somebody who's never listened to a vinyl record? Why should they? It's a new experience, you know. It's like you might find that it sounds better to you, but also you might enjoy the process of putting it on and sitting back and listening. And just looking at it, it's, it's great. One of my favorite things to do. Are you going to carry on jamming for me? Yep.